Ever since I was a little kid, I've wanted to be a singer. Actually, anything I do in my life will be a distant second to me not playing shortstop for the Dodgers. But with that being said, this is a true story about a guy who's recorded lots of music. Several albums worth that nobody's ever heard. Because I'm a purist. And I have INTEGRITY! Or, I'm just a big, giant, weenie, pee-pee, poo-poo coward who's been too afraid to go public. Frankly, I'm getting kind of tired of that. So, here's a short glimpse into my life in general and my life isolated up here as a musician. Boom, 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 bring it. What's up, guys? What's up, man? How are you doing? Good, how are you guys? Good. How was your day? Awesome. It's great. Uh-huh. I was going to worry about you guys. I was searching and rescue you guys out there. Yeah, I know. We were, we were back since then. Oh, okay. Yeah. What have you guys been doing? Well, we did well. We, we went up to... Yeah, it looked like they got it there on the way out. Was it Morgan Pass? Oh, really? Yeah. You guys made it all the way up to the pass? Yeah, we did. Nice. That's a big day. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Long. Sweet. We went up to the pass straight away. Hey, you went to chicken foot also? Oh, okay, cool. And we kind of played in the water a little bit over there. You guys swam? Sat and lunch. We had lunch. We swam at the gym. Oh, all the way up there. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's like icy. Too. Yeah, it was really it was refreshing. breathtaking, huh? Yeah, it was. Like in and out. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you get out and you just woo! Yeah, yeah. Awesome. How do you guys feel right now? Good, a little what? tired. Totally. A little yeah. beat, but same time, pretty good. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just about done here. Cool. Dealing with all these fucking dorks. I'm telling you. It's like dork central right now, too. I swear, like, when I get, like, in a dark place, for some reason it bothers me when people come in here and they do the same thing. And I always feel like such a, like, an ass for, like, not finding it funny, but come in. Oh, we got a cute little store here. And then they turn and go, got beer. Turns to me. Most important thing. Uh-huh. And then I have to like kind of, <laughs> yeah. That's, oh, it's so frustrating. And, it's, and sometimes when I'm like, and it's stupid. It's no no need for me to be like angry or negative. Uh-huh. But sometimes when I'm in a dark place, like comments like that, they hurt. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why. They just do. <laughs> it's hard to shirk it off, you know. I probably get that comment six times a day at least. <laughs> From the dorks. From the dorks. Uh-huh. Yes. Comes, yeah. Alright, well, I gotta get out of here before other people all come in. Copy of the earth, move. Do you guys want anything in here? Um, oh, hey, I wanted to know do you have any lotion? Do you have any personally? I got kind of sunburned. Yeah, do you do you personally have any lotion at your place or any? I do. Any? Yeah. Because yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely need it. And I definitely don't whack off with it. Oh good. <laughs> well, even still. Yeah. I'll just pump out the first little bit and just discard it. And then yeah. I would just take everything from what I need to. Yeah, that scent is a call to action. Oh. But no, I think otherwise we're good. second grade I still do it all the time so anyways this is where I live I've been living here off and on for I don't know seven or so years sometimes I actually live in this this guy right here 
But for the most part, this has been my home. So this is my studio that I set up while I'm here. Um, it's kind of an ideal setup for somebody like me. Uh, it's a small cabin, sort of everything you need. You know, it's not necessarily like super high techy or anything like that. It's very simple. Um, you know, obviously the drums, the piano, and this is the MIDI keyboard. And this is sort of more like the engineer type space because my computer and and uh, Mbox are here. And there are times when I'm in here and I've lived here for, I've lived here off and on for such a long time that there are times when I go through these moments of, of uh, un, 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 unproductive. I don't know if unproductivity is a word. And, and, but sometimes I'll just sit and I'll look at like this little setup. I remember being like a kid and I got like a little keyboard and like a little bass amp with my bass and I just look at it and think how cool it was that I had this little music setup. And now I have something that's even cooler. So sometimes I try to go back to that time when I was just a little boy, you know, thinking about playing music. I definitely contemplated uh, my death. Were you chocolate me? Yeah, but I was following somebody else's lead who was not experienced and he claimed to be, and it was really awful. I had a, I took myself off the lay, off the rope, on, not on any piece of gear, and waited for him to book me down for like 15 to 20 minutes in the pouring rain, and I just was holding a hold, and it was very terrifying. I was, I was lucky to jam my ankle into this crack and there was a sort of a ledge, not really, that's the slab right there, um, sort of a ledge kind of thing that I can put like a percentage of my body weight onto. It really saved my life. So I wasn't just like holding for 15 minutes straight. And then when he came down, he took it so lightly, you know, like, whoa, man. He's like, whoa. He's such a moron. Dude, let's still finish it. It's I remember his quote. It's clear as daisies out here. He's a moron. 
I mean, I shouldn't say that because I, I actually really like the guy and I've hung out with him like a bunch since then. Nothing ever happens to him. He takes so many risks. He's a surfer. <laughs> the rent. Don't tell the meat dog. I'm just an amateur. Well, I think that's what you're doing. I'm not the meat dog. I can hear your stubborn, stubborn tones. Don't tell the meat dog. Who says drinking milk will help you grow your bones? I'll say my vast opinions. Don't tell the meat dog. Instead, I'll listen to the way you treat your meat. I'm not the meat dog. I don't care if people think you're tough. Don't tell the meat dog. No one cares. Nobody ever cares enough. And I don't know. 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 Hi Nikki. Hey, it's Drew. Um, uh, I'm sure you'll call me right back, so I won't leave a long message. But hey, I just want to let you know that we're we're doing great. We had the most amazing day yesterday after I talked to you. I'll tell you all about it later. Um, I hope kids have been good to you and nothing's too hard. You're not resenting the fact that I'm here. I just want you to know that I really appreciate it and I love you. And um, I'll, I'll try to call you back again in a couple minutes so you don't, in case, uh, just so we don't play phone tag. Anyway, I love you. Bye. This place became this uh, a tool, I guess, for me to 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 have to be able to basically lock myself away of contact because we don't have cell phone service up here we barely have internet we don't have tv or anything like that so it was a way to just kind of get away and have this space and have time and no distraction to be able to write music and record music and um you know it's you know it's been something i've been doing ever ever since i first dis discovered you know this this sort of alternative lifestyle and um so i've recorded you know i don't know six or so albums and uh two of them i would be i would rather two of them i would rather have everybody i know line up and look at my genitals and point out what's wrong with them i'd rather have that situation happen than <laughs> for these two albums to see the light of day because they're so forced and so lame. But then, to me, there's four of them, or, or I guess, that I'm proud of, that I think, oh, that, that's really cool, you know? So it's like a kind of a hit and miss process, but being left alone and not having to deal with regular life things has been the, the key of it. And, and also, if you, if you see, like, around here, it's really beautiful, and um, the cabin is really cool, and I think people would imagine that the music would be like mountainy, like down on the tracks, hopping the midnight train, traversing from peak to peak, wearing my sandals or whatever, or playing the banjo. And it's totally not. It's like um, this goofy thing that feels like there's no way this music could have been 
com like made by this person living in the middle of nowhere. Um, not to say that it's super like innovative or anything, but it's just silly. It's silly. It doesn't. It doesn't exactly match up. This is where I go sometimes. It's a great place to go if you have a cold and you want to sweat it out and you also really want to have an anxiety attack. my heart Lord open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you ask me the vegetables are fun to throw away I wouldn't dare to move when I have nothing good to say but I'm all right I wish my hair looked good it's a good it's a good enough line to keep me hanging out inside. Good for nothing's good for me, I'm feeling like a prince. I'm jovial, but man, I'm Jones, and pass me the rotten fish. Oh, it's alright, I might change my mind and go passing out. Passing out is fine, another good way to waste my time. so stupid uh, I do feel like saying this that I've been doing this for years I come up here I write music I do just about nothing with it publicly um, until now is sort of my first attempt to be somewhat public and I really don't want any, you know, like this isn't some like photo shoot. And we rented some cabin out and make some manufactured story. I live here. I work here. I clean toilets here. I, you know, split wood here. I talk on the phone. People who want to stay here. This is like a real thing. This is not like a sort of a phony kind of like I just had this opportunity. I figured I should take advantage of it. This is like my real life. And, uh, you know, so at a certain point, if this becomes something that's a... Uh, that's public, um, I would, my worst nightmare would be to think that it would be tangled in with this mountain retreat that I did one time, recorded some music that became successful, whereas it ain't like that. Uh, people that live here and people that I know here are among my best friends and, uh, and it's worst enemies too at sometimes. And uh, so this is, uh, this is a very 
real scenario uh, in, in this whole living in the backwoods, away from things, and not being public, not going basically online at all, is not a, an act. So, uh, enjoy it. What's your name? I'm bad at guessing. Pardon me, because I'm confessing. Why do I need to know? I'm polishing my dirty scene. I miss you, but I didn't mean to try. Oh, it's so easy.